December is a month of giving, and the Salvation Army could use your help. With a busy season ahead, let's welcome in Gina Lazara, the Public Relations and Special Events Manager for the Salvation Army right here in Syracuse. Gina, thank you so much for waking up and joining us. Of course. Happy to be here, Adrian. We need all the help we can get in spreading the word because it's going to be a busy next week and a half. Oh, yeah. So let's get right to it. The Christmas Bureau is always a large event, and last year it was a drive through because of we all know COVID. So how is it going to look this year and do you expect a larger turnout? So it's all in the numbers in the next three days since registration begins. But basically we are happy to be back at the Young Center because like you said, Adrian, drive through event last year, we had hardly any interaction with our clients. We were basically just stuffing boxes and cars as quickly as we could. And so we're going to be back at the On Center and we're going to have volunteers helping our clients this year, picking out toys for their kids and loading the boxes into their cars. And we're hoping to have that full Christmas experience this year, obviously as safe as possible, taking appropriate COVID measures. Everyone will be wearing masks and we'll be doing our best to space out the crowds. That's great. Now, when does registration start? And can you give us a breakdown of how the process will look? Christmas Bureau registration starts tomorrow. So if you're watching this, you can head to the On Center tomorrow. If you do, if you're income eligible and you have the appropriate documents with you, just head to the On Center. Make sure you're wearing a mask. And just like in past years, we'll be taking up the whole space in the lobby and we'll have six staff members ready to serve you once you have your, your documents in hand and they'll get you signed up as quickly as possible. It should only take about five minutes. And registration is going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday, we're going to be doing 9 to 4. Tuesday, a little bit of different hours to accommodate different schedules, 11 to 6 on Tuesday. So if you work late, work till 5, pop on over afterwards. Great. And we all know that the pandemic has impacted all of us, but really, how big of a need is it for families this year, especially with the added hardship from this pandemic, to, you know, give their children what they deserve? Yeah, Adrian, you think about it. What are we going on? Like month 20 of this? I mean, people have had a hard time. Some people, some of our clients are experiencing loss of work or loss of insurance for the first time, finding themselves needing emergency shelter for the first time ever. They're confused. They're lost. They just need, they need a good Christmas. The last thing they need is to not be, be able to have the things and have the, the money to celebrate Christmas properly with their children. And so if the Salvation Army can be here for them to make Make sure that they have what they need to, you know, put a few Christmas gifts under the tree for their kid and have a nice holiday meal. That's what we're here for. And we want everyone to be able to celebrate Christmas appropriately this year. Well, Gina, we appreciate you joining us so much. And we wish you all the best tomorrow with uh, registration for the Christmas Bureau. We hope it all goes smoothly. Thank you so much. We need Thanks, Gina.